Hi, this is Nancy Bergen reporting for Bass City Beat, and I'm here in East Point at the newly opened Michigan Military Technical and Historical Society Museum. I'm Robert Cosley from the Michigan Military Technical and Historical Society. This is our museum. It's actually a building that belongs to East Point, Michigan, but the, it was for the former senior center. We've converted it into a, a museum showing all of the things, well, as many as we can, of what Michigan is doing and has continues to do for the, the, the war efforts. Michigan has really been in the forefront for, since the very beginning, even in World War I, II, and continuing. And this is what our displays are all about. The organization's ultimate end state goal is to establish and maintain a permanent museum structure to educate the public and preserve the artifacts of the role of Michigan in 20th century conflict. Well, if we have a timeline on the one on the one wall that shows World War One development after that, World War Two that development, and the continued development during the Cold War, and we also have in displays of some of the actual vehicles, equipment, engines, weapons that were were developed here in Michigan and used in the war, different war efforts. A great majority of the helmets were made here for World War World War One, World War Two. This is the World War II helmets here, and the production in, in, 19, in 1945, the production was 3,685,000 just for that one year. So you, can, this is, so you can see how much, how many of those helmets were produced. Well, the significance about this particular museum is the personal, personal stories, the letters. We have a partnership with Rosie the Riveter. She actually has letters and, and notes from the actual people that were, were providing support during World War II. Well, my, my, my personal favorites, of course, are the, are the, is the actual equipment that's been restored. My son has restored a trailer, a Jeep, an engine, the weapons. I mean, this, and these are actual items that were in the war. They're, they're, not, repli you know, they're not replicas. And that, to me, is a real vital part. If you would like to check out the museum, they're open every Saturday and Sunday with a small admittance fee for anyone over 16. Also, if you plan on visiting, make sure you call and make an appointment with them at 586-872-2581. For more information, go to www.mimths.org. So be sure to stop on by on Saturdays from 10 to 5 p.m. and on Sundays from 12 to 5 p.m. to find out what makes up America's military history. For Bass City Beat, I'm Nancy Bergeron.